everyone! Welcome to my channel. Always remember, ignorance of the law, excuses, no one. This is Igali, engineer. Well, good day to all the students and to all of uh, you who are tuning in in this video lecture. So we're just done discussing the first part of obligations and contracts that is obligation and now we are here to talk about contracts. Again, I am attorney Bendrick A. Marali. And I'm attorney April M. Uwe. And we are here to discuss to you the general provisions of contracts, contracts. starting with Article 1305. Attorney Uwe, ano bang niyan? Article 13.05, a contract is a meeting of minds between two persons whereby one binds himself with respect to the other to give something or to render some service. Mm -hmm. So this is actually the definition which emphasizes the contracting party's meeting of, of minds, minds which should take place when the offer by one party is accepted by the other. So may kinatawag ditong pagpatagpo ng isipan. Mm -mm. Nang minds between the two <laughs> parties. Attorney, ano ba yung contract? Mm. Mm -hmm. So, bukod nga dun sa na-discuss natin na definition, yung contract daw, nanggaling from the Latin word contractus mm -hmm. and from the French word contra. And it is what? It is a juridical convention manifested in legal form by virtue of which one or more persons or parties bind themselves in favor of another or others or reciprocally to the fulfillment of a prestation to give, to do, or not to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, doon makikita natin, uh, Attorney Uy, yung contracts ay um, pinag-usapan to or pinag-agrihan mm -hmm. ng dalawang party. Part do. And since we've said that there is already a meeting of mind, yes. be minds between the, the parties, therefore, the contract has its binding effect, effect right? Yes. And ano ba tong binding effect ng contract na sinasabi at So, yung binding effect niya is that the obligations that arise from a contract have the force of law as between the contracting parties. Mm -hmm. So, nandun yan sa Article 1159 of the Civil Code. Mm -hmm. And since it has the force of laws between the parties, kinakailangan na merong tinatawag na mutuality. Yes. There must be mutuality between the parties based on their essential equality yes. to which is repugnant to have one party bound by the contract leaving the other free therefrom. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung binding yun sa isang party to the contract, dapat binding din yun yes. uh, to, the, to the other, other. right? Kasi nga naman, um, it's unfair and it doesn't make sense na uh, yung isa lang ang bound mm -hmm, of the, what they've agreed the upon, right? Mm -hmm. So, based on law, Yan. Contract mm -hmm. is one of the sources of the obligations. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the obligation per se is the legal tie or relation that exists after a contract has been executed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in addition to these, as a form of agreement, contracts are enforceable through legal proceedings while yes. mere moral or social agreements are those which cannot be enforced by action in the course of justice. So yun yung ano, yun yung uh, unique sa contract as a source of obligation kasi yes. you can enforce this in the course, course of, of law. law. Yes. Mm -hmm. So an agreement is broader than a contract since the former may not have all the elements that the latter has. Mm -hmm. So okay. kasi, alimbawa, may mga agreements naman na ano eh, um, hindi na kailangan Kailang ng forms, forms. diba? Mm -hmm. Salemnity, for example. Oral agreement Oral na. Agreements, mm -hmm. yeah. So, Ibig sabihin niyan, mas malaki daw yung agreement kesa yes. sa contract. contract. A contract is a subset of, of an agreement. agreement. Okay. Hence, if there is no obligation to begin with, yes. uh, can there be a contract? No, a mm -hmm. contract will not exist if there is no obligation to begin with. On the other hand, yes. obligations may exist even without a contract being entered into. Tatandaan niya na kasi litong-lito dito yung minsan oh, yung mga bata. Oh, no? So, uh, take note of that. And in the same tenor, all contracts are considered agreements yes. but... But not all agreements are considered contracts. Mm -hmm. Well, let's proceed to Tony Uri. This is yes. uh, one of the more important uh, provisions in under contract, which is the elements, elements of, of a contract. contract. So, so we have essential elements mm -hmm. and we also have natural, natural and accidental, accidental. elements. Isa -isa natin yan. Yeah, no. So, unang-unang muna sabi, Tony Uri, yung essential elements. Ano ba itong essential na to? 
Yeah, so essential elements are those without which no contract can validly exist. They are also known as the essential requisites of a contract. Mm -hmm. So, yan yung consent, object, or cause, and consideration. Mm -hmm. So, remember COC. COC yeah. okay. stands for consent. Object. O for object and another C, C for cost. cost. Okay. So, babalikan natin lahat yan mm -hmm. uh, eventually. No? Pero ngayon, punta muna tayo dun sa tinatawag nating natural elements. Yes. So, natural elements naman, those found in certain contracts and presumed to exist unless the contrary has been stipulated. For yeah. example, in a contract of sale, yes. um, one of its natural elements is the warranty. No? Against hidden defects. Against hidden defects. Mm -hmm. So, kumbaga, kahit hindi nyo napag-usapan yun, it's already given. Implied. Implied yes. natural element Limits. of a contract. Okay, right? they are presumed to exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after natural elements, may tinatawag kang accidental elements. Yeah. So, may accidental elements. Yung accidental elements naman, they are various particular stipulations that may be agreed upon by the contracting parties in a contract. Mm -hmm. Example niyan, dun sa stipulation to pay credit, credit. diba? Uh -huh. The stipulation to, to pay, pay interest. interest. Kasi, kung hindi kayo mag-stipulate na there must be a payment for interest, uh, there is no there, inter yeah, interest. There is no interest or no obligation uh -huh. to pay, pay such interest. Yes. Alimbawa pa, the designation of the particular place for delivery of payment, hindi na talaga yeah. sila matuturing na uh, essential Sorry. element, but they're accidental yes. doon sa contract na meron tayo. Uh -huh. Okay. So, um, attorney Uy, meron tayong tinatawag na yung um, freedom and limitations on contractual stipulations. stipulations. Pwede bang ano? Pwede bang uh, kahit anong maging object ng contract natin, attorney Uy? Pwede ba yun? Na kung mahal mo, gusto ko maging contract ng, uh, object ng contract natin is uh, illegal drugs. Can that be... Hindi. Is that allowed by law? That is not allowed by law because mm -hmm. yung object which is one of the essential requisites, I void. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung... Contrary to public policy. Yes. So, isa yan sa mga limitations. Yes. So, pag-usapan natin ngayon yung freedom and freedom limitations on contractual, contractual stipulation yes. under Article 13, Series 6 of the New, New Civil, Civil Code. Code. So, we invite uh, the students to open your codal provisions and read it directly from your codal. Your codal yes. First stop, Attorney Uy. So, one of the liberties being guaranteed by the Constitution to every individual is the right to enter into a contract in accordance with Article 3, Section 10 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution. Mm -hmm. So, caution must be made, however, that this freedom to contract refers only to legally valid mm -hmm. ones. So, yet again, yung sinabi ni Attorney Uy, that's the freedom to contract, okay. no? Mm -hmm. So, that's guaranteed by the Philippine Constitution. And towards mm -hmm. the latter part ng sinabi niya, limited lang daw yan dun sa legally okay. valid, valid contracts. Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi naman talaga unlimited yung liberty yes. yan. Okay. So, punta natin yung limitations, limitations sa contractual stipulations. Yes. Una, one of the limitations in contractual stipulations mm -hmm. is that first, contracts should be in accordance with the law, not mm -hmm. contrary to it. So, if it's contrary to the law, mm -hmm. eh, walang freedom na pag-uusapan dyan. Mm -hmm. okay. Next, contracts should not be contrary to morals. Okay, napag-uusapan din naman natin yung, yung what is, whatever is moral. No? And yun yung mga bagay na not necessarily uh, saklaw ng batas, pero in the society, we know what is moral and what is not uh, moral. Ano yung mm -hmm. pangatlo, attorney? Contracts should not be contrary to good customs. Good customs. Uh, mm -hmm. And contracts should not be contrary to public order mm -hmm. or public policy. Yan limang yan, lagi yung magkakasama. Okay? Law, Law morals, morals, good, good customs, customs, public, public order, order, and public, public policy. policy. Okay, huwag niyong kalilimutan yan as regards mm -hmm. contracts, limitations to contracts. And the contracts of the parties must conform with the law in force at the time the contract was executed. Tanda tatandaan niyo yan, okay? Kasi alam naman natin na ang batas nagbabago-bago yan. Pwedeng maabandon, pwedeng ma-repeal, ma-abolish. Yes. No? So ang material dito na date is that at the time that the you, contract was you executed, executed the contract, ano mm -hmm. ang prevailing law uh, yes. during that time, okay? Yeah. So, let's proceed to the characteristics of a contract. Mm -hmm. So, una, meron tayong obligatory force of a contract. We have mutuality of contracts. We also have relativity of 
contract. Mm-hmm. So, tatlo, mm-hmm. merong obligatory force, mutuality, and relativity. So, say natin, mm-hmm. obligatory force, which means that a, a contract constitutes as the law between, between the, the contracting parties. parties. Obligatory, no? Mm-hmm. Um, wala kang choice. You're obliged to comply. It's the law between the mm-hmm. parties. It's the law between the parties. So, and, and there's no problem uh, as regards that. How about mutuality, attorney Oye? Yung mutuality naman is the validity and performance of contracts cannot be left to the sole will of only one of the contracting parties. Mm-hmm. So, by the mutuality of contracts, both parties are bound to comply with its terms and conditions. This principle is based on the essential equality of the parties because it is repugnant to bind one party and yet leave the other free. Mm-hmm. So, what I'm saying is that uh, it must be consensual. No, uh, I mean, um, it should apply to, to both, both of the uh, parties to the contract. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, um, it's unfair na sa isa lang mag okay. the other uh, one. Wala siyang so, accountability. Yes. Ay, yung obligation of contracts should not be impaired. No? Mm-hmm. Manino naman yun. Is that, is that absolute at any way? Of course, hindi. Mm-hmm. Lagi yung, yung general rule, lagi yung may mga exceptions or mm-hmm. limitations. Mm-hmm. So, the rule that the obligation of contracts should not be impaired is not absolute. Mm-hmm. Thus, the free exercise of religious beliefs is superior to contractual rights. Mm-hmm. So, can you give us an example, Attorney Marali? Mm-hmm. For, for example, the belief of a religious sect that its members should not join a labor organization or participate in a collective bargaining agreement. So, mm-hmm. makikita natin doon, may clashing, um, Between... uh, clashing principles, principles. <laughs> between the uh, religious belief and between uh, uh, labor, labor no kasi mm-hmm. meron tayong labor organization doon so ang tanong nga doon is that uh, which would prevail okay. no can you really impair the obligation of contracts as regards the labor organization to give way for the religious okay. belief of that person the answer is yes, yes. kasi nga um, hindi naman daw absolute yung uh, uh, um, rule that the obligation of contract should not be impaired. Yeah. Okay. That's in the case of an ascension Mutual. versus national labor union under the mutuality okay. principle. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next, attorney Uwe. So, up. next characteristics, ay, characteristic ay yung relativity of contracts. Mm-hmm. Yung only the contracting parties and their successors are bound by the contract. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, naman kasi. Hindi naman pwedeng Hindi <laughs> <laughs> wala kang kaalam na lang, bigla na lang kasama ka pala. So, as a general rule, yun lang, uh, contracting, contracting parties and uh, their, their successors uh, in interest. Mm-hmm. So, as a general rule, again, the effect of a contract extends only between yeah. the parties, their assigns, and their heirs. Okay? Take note. Mm-hmm. A contract takes effect only between the parties, their assignments, and heirs, except in the case of intransmissible uh, contracts. Contract. So, meron kasi mga intransmissible contracts eh, na, na uh, tagang personal, it cannot be transmitted Mated. to the heirs yes. or the assignees. Correct. Ano ba yung transmissible contract? Yung intransmissible contracts, they are purely personal. For example, partnership and agency. Eh, because when a partner, partner uh, when a partner <laughs> dies or when an uh. agent dies, uh, partnership ceases. Ceases. Uh, oh. Ceases. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung intransmissible contracts, yung very nature of the obligation that requires special personal qualifications of the obligor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like uh, support, mm-hmm. obligation to give Depends. support. Yeah. Uh-oh. Payment of money or debts not transmitted to the heirs but to the estate. Or pwede din naman yung intransmissible contract ay yung stipulated by the parties to be intransmissible. intransmissible. That, that could, uh, transmissible siya from the beginning but the party stipulated otherwise. Mm-hmm. Again, uh, if it's the stipulation in the contract, that's mm-hmm. the law. Yes. Provided this not contrary to, to law, law, morals, good, good customs, customs, public order, order and public, public policy. policy. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, another rule uh, under uh, relativity is yes. that no one may contract in, in the, the name, name of, of another. another. Correct. Okay. A person as a general rule cannot be bound by a contract which was entered into by another without his knowledge 
or to which he has not given consent. Mm -hmm. diba? Hence, no one should enter into a contract in the name of another without the latter's authority or consent. So, yes. pwede rin naman pala mm -hmm. na mag-enter into a contract um, through the name of a third person. A third person. Yeah, provided, ah, naman pala nga. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. my consent or authority, authority or consent. That from be, that person. That could be in a form of special power of authority. Yes. Uh, kinukuha, yung SP. Yeah, oh, Kagaya nga yan ng contract of agency. Mm -hmm. So there, there must be a written agreement as regards uh, the same. Mm -hmm. you know? So otherwise, the same contract shall be considered as unenforceable. Yes. Pag usapan natin yan, yes. na defective contract, unenforceable towards the latter portion mm -hmm. of the, uh, the yes. contract. So enforceable unless ratified by mm -hmm. him before the revocation by the other contracting party. That's an interesting topic towards uh, mm -hmm. you know, the, the end of contracts. No? Mm -hmm. Now, um, Hindi naman kasi isang uli ng contracts. Yes. There, there are different kinds of contracts, yes. classification. And let's proceed with the classifications of contracts. And it could be according to subject, subject matter, matter, according to name, according to perfection. Mm -hmm. So, so, so a classification of contracts according to subject matter, we have things. Mm -hmm. Like in a contract of sale, mm -hmm. we have services like in a contract of agency or a list of services. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, rights or credits mm -hmm. provided these are transmissible, like a contract of usufruct or assignment of credits. Mm -hmm. So according to subject matter, di pag usapan yan natin dun is yung the very subject matter. Subject matter. matter. Pwede, so contract. pwede ang subject matter na contract is things mm -hmm. like sa contract of sale, mm -hmm. di ba mga bagay. Pwede din naman daw na services, mm -hmm. like in a contract of agency mm -hmm. or lease of mm -hmm. services. Pwede din naman daw na ang subject matter ay rights or credits. Mm -hmm. Provided na transmissible. Now, according to name, mm -hmm. according to way, um, yeah. meron tayo tinatawag na nominate and innominate contracts. Mm -hmm. no? Pag sinabi natin nominate, mm -hmm. this refers to contracts with a specific name or designation in the law. For example, yes. pumadatum, partnership, mm -hmm. sale, agency, or deposit. Yes. How about innominate? Specific kasi yung ah, nominate. Okay. Yeah, Paano mo nasabi na with uh, specific name or designation in law? For example, in sale, when you bought something, tawag doon sale. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Kapag, uh, for example, when you... Uh, you give a uh, thing uh, to a person without uh, consideration. Uh -oh. That's donation. donation. Uh -huh. Uh -oh. So, That's why, innominate yan. May specific name and designation siya mm -hmm. under the law. It's not uh -oh. So, yung innominate naman, that which has no specific name or designation in law. Mm -hmm. and there are different kinds of innominate contract. Yan. Um, first of which is, Yung tinatawag na do ut des. Uh, mm, I give that you may give. Mm, I give that you may give. Mm -hmm. Alwa, do ut fascias. I give that you may do. Pangatlo, mm -hmm. uh -huh. facto ut des. I do that you may give. Pangapat, uh, <laughs> facto ut fascias. So, I do that you may do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yan yung mga Latin term kasi yan, no? So, yun yung mga, sa ngayon, um, currently, wala pa talagang specific, specific name na binibigay sa contract na yun. Kaya mm -hmm. tinatatawag silang innominate. But I would just like to reiterate na, dun sa first uh, mm -hmm. kind of innominate natin, dun sa do with this, mm -hmm. um, it no longer uh, is an innominate yeah. contract because it has already been given a name of its own that is barter oh, or exchange. Oh. Kasi diba, Magbibigay mo sa akin yung Magbibigay din ako sa'yo mm -hmm. at magbibigay ka din sa'kin. Oh, kasi yung ang, ang first innominate dito kasi is I give that you may give. Okay. Oh, so okay. if I give you my cell phone and then you give me for example a laptop, a laptop. in return, mm -hmm. that is a barter, barter or, or exchange. exchange. And we know that that is under Article 1638 of the New, New Civil, Civil Code. Code. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alam mo, attorney? Yes. Um, there is a lawyer, for example, an attorney who renders legal uh, services for a close friend. Um, the, can the lawyer still charge yung friend niya for attorney's fees even in the absence of an agreement thereon? Yes. Mm -hmm. because this is because of the nominee contract of fascio put this mm -hmm. or I do that you may give. Mm -hmm. Which, in turn, is based on the principle that one cannot unjustly enrich himself at another's expense. Mm -hmm. So, pag <laughs> nag-hire ka ng lawyer, magbayad ka naman. Mm -hmm. 
Tapos kung ano ba, wala kayong napag-usapan. May meron siyang right to collect pa din. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na, ah, teka. Wala tayong napag-usapan. Atin, wala naman tayong pinag-usapan. Wala kang balibre to. No. Ang sinasabi doon, uh, inominate, uh, I do that you make it. Okay, so, uh, tandaan natin yan. And that is in the case of corpus versus court of appeals. And I think it doesn't just apply to lawy lawyers. Lawyers, yeah. I mean, lahat. All kinds of professions. Uh -huh. May it be as a civil engineer. If you do a work for someone, wala na pag-usapan ang uh, as to how much, much. di ba? Uh, you still have a right to uh, collect. collect. Mm -mm. Uh, which, yung ano lang, uh, Quantum merit. Merit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Quantum merit. Quantum merit. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yung tama lang na uh -huh. singilin mo dun sa tao ngayon. Okay? Alright. Um, attorney, yung may tinatawag tayo sa... Uh, classification. Classification. To which is according to perfection. perfection. Okay. So, we have three under according to perfection. Meron mm -hmm. tayo consensual contract, merong real contract, and meron din namang solemn mm -hmm. contract. So, punta tayo dun sa consensual contract. Mm -hmm. no? Ang consensual contract, it refers to contract which are perfected by mere consent. From the word itself. No, consent. Word itself. Perfected mm -hmm. by consent, consensual contract. So, pag consensual ba, kailangan may kasulatan, attorney way, na sinulat nyo? Hindi naman, basta may meeting of minds. Mm -hmm. Yun. There, there must be consent on the subject matter and yeah. the cause of consideration. Uh, then, the contract is, is deemed perfected. perfected. Kasi, tandaan nyo, according to Article 1315 of the New Civil Code. Yeah, so, contracts are perfected by mere consent and from that moment, the parties are bound not only to fulfill of what has been expressly stipulated but also to all the consequences which, according to their nature, may be in keeping with good faith, usage, and law. Oh, I think lagi kong sinasabi sa mga estudyante ko na if you're a student of Oblicon, mm -mm. uh, you're supposed to know na ang kontrata, ang kontrak, hindi laging nakasulat. Yes. L laging nalilito dyan ng mga sudyan. Mm -hmm. Kaya sasabihin nila, Sir, wala pa namang kontrak kasi hindi pa naman kami mm -hmm. nagkapirmahan. Wala pa namang kasulatan. Mm -hmm. Hindi. Ibang klaseng kontrak yun according mm -hmm. to perfection. Yes. Ito, uh, consensual contract by mere consent. Nag-oo ka sa, alam ba, sinabi ko kayo, Attorney, anyway, bilhin ko na itong cellphone mo na ito. Mm. Sige, bilhin mo. Magkano? Magkano? Mga 10K. 10K. Pwede bang 8K, Attorney Oy? O sige. 8K. Mm -hmm. O deal. Uh -huh. Question. Is there a contract of sale between Attorney Oy and Attorney Benrick even in the absence of a written agreement? Yes. The answer is? Yes. Yes. Yeah, kasi right. consensual pa. But there must be an intention na. Kasi yeah. sa amin mm -hmm. naman, nagbibigil ako <laughs> ng example. example. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pero kung may, may intention among yeah, the parties oh. kasi makikita mo naman yan. Okay? So take note of that. Mm -hmm. no, real contract. So real contract, that which is perfected by the delivery of the thing, subject matter of the contract. Mm -hmm. Examples are depositum, pledge, and comodatum. So ito, hindi sapat ang consent lang. Mm -hmm. Hindi sapat na nag-agree lang kayo. Mm -hmm. Dapat merong delivery of the thing, which is the subject matter of the contract, para ma-perfect. Ma yung contract. Any specific yung mga contracts na kinakailangan yung delivery? Yes. Mm, uh, May kagaya ng pledge, depositum, mm, and comodatum. Mm, uh, example ng pledge. Mm, ano nga ba? Ay, di pag nagsangla ko. Sangla? Mm -mm. Ba, walang wala na ito, na yung yung ko na itong singsing ko. Walang wala na akong ano pera. Na? Oh. Hindi naman pwedeng ate, sasangla ko yung singsing ko pala. Uh, Tapos hindi ko naman binibigay ko sa kanya. Oh, tumalig siya. O oh, sige, isang lang mo. Oh, Ay, pwede mo bang sabihin na there is already a perfected contract of pledge in that case between attorney Uy and the pawn shop owner? The answer is no. no. Kasi real contract ang contract of pledge. At kailangan may delivery of the subject, of the thing which is the subject matter of the contract para may perfection. Tanda niya na, ang sarap itanong niya sa true or false. Yan, uh -oh. Pledge. pledge. <laughs> It's asang na mo, di ba nabibigay yung nag-agree kayo? Mm -hmm. Hindi ba naman binibigay yung alaha sa isang sanglam mo? Is there really, there is, if the statement is that uh, in that case, there is already a perfected contract of pledge. pledge. Because, uh, because there is already meeting of the mm. minds. Oh. So the answer is false, false because pledge is a real contract and meeting of minds is not enough. There must be delivery, delivery. of the thing or the subject matter, matter. of the contract. Take mm -hmm. note of that, okay? So we covered kasi yun ang ano. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Covered kasi ng Article 11, ng Article 13, 16. Real contracts such as deposit, pledge, and komodatum are not perfected until the delivery of the subject Object. of the object of the obligation. So ang uh, legal uh, source mo or yung basis ah, yeah. mo is Article 1316. Okay. Now yung pangatlo natin is solemn contract, mm -hmm. no? Ano ba tong solemn na to? So solemn contract requires compliance with certain formalities mm -hmm. prescribed by law, such prescribed form being thereby an essential element thereof. Mm -hmm. For example, donation of real property which must be in a public instrument. Mm -hmm. Oh, yan na. Yung, yung gusto nyo laging written. Mm -hmm. Hindi okay. sapat na may meeting of minds lang. Kailangan. There is a certain formality mm -hmm. prescribed by law in order for it to be valid mm -hmm. and enforceable. Katulad nga ng donation. So, mm -hmm. um, Hindi malinaw sa atin ngayon na hindi nga lahat ng kontrata ay kailangan uh, in a certain form. Yes. Only solid contracts are considered as, uh, or should be in, in the uh, form prescribed by law. Such as in the case of donation.